Hey guys, Inventor719 here, and before we start the video, I thought I would give you a very quick shooting test. Now here it is. I want to give you guys that, that, that very, very quick shooting test and a brief introduction because I made this video a little longer than I thought it was going to be. Um, because it was my very first 3D printed airsoft gun or 3D printed invention of any sort video. So I wanted to show you guys the final result. Um, so that you would stick through the entire video and watch how I made it. If you like this kind of video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more 3D printed airsoft guns, other guns, and inventions in general. As I'm sure there will be lots more and they will probably get better as the video progresses. So please enjoy the video and stay tuned for the very end for the real shooting test. Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and in today's video we are going to be making this airsoft gun you see on the screen. It is a very tiny airsoft gun, but hopefully it works quite well. So I designed it here by myself in SolidWorks. Um, I could do a few more things to it, but I want to keep it relatively simple. Let me show you guys an angle that you can see pretty well. It's hard videotaping a screen on your computer, of course. There's a pretty good angle right there. So basically there's two components, the gray part is a solid body, one big component, and the red part is the trigger. As you can see I can move the trigger in this program. So basically we have a handle and a barrel. The barrel is a 6mm inside diameter for airsoft BBs. And basically, pretty simple, all I did was make a trigger with a little notch in the top of it, so that when you pull the trigger the notch goes down, letting the BB fire, and when it's up like this, the notch stops the BB. Uh, it's powered by a spring, just a standard issue spring from a, pence, a pen, just to give you an idea of how small this gun is going to be. There's the power source, one of these springs, and the other spring, let me see if I can show you a bit of the design here. The other spring is used to keep the trigger in place. This hole right here, a spring is going to go in there. You can see it kind of hollows it out when I go over the hole right there. Spring is going to go in there, preventing the trigger from popping like this all the time. So, there's the design of the gun. This is the little 3D printer I picked up. It's called an M3D Mini, or I guess M might stand for Mini, M3D. So, it's pretty small. I think it's around four and a half, five inches cubed. So, should fit. As I said, it's a tiny airsoft gun. And here is my mocked up setup right now. It's not perfect. I'm gonna make a little stand for my filament. But right now I just have it on a wooden spoon and some kitchen accessories to feed it in. This print, I believe, said it was gonna take around eight hours to do. Right now, the status is just checking the height of it. So I might show you guys a bit of the printing as it's happening and then of course the final result. So please stay tuned for that. All right, so it's about an hour in. As you can see, my 3D printer is working away. And I also made this little fixture here to hold the big roll. I have something to attach to this little machine for a tinier roll, like half this size. But this is a larger one, so I just jimmy rigged this little wooden and metal bar piece seems to be working very well. As you can see, this is quite a slow process. It's still kind of working on the base. Let me see if I can zoom in for you a little bit. So there it is working on the base plate. It's just starting from the back of the handle since I oriented it pointing upwards. So I will check in on it in maybe a couple hours and show you guys where it's at. So here's a little update. We are just over 50% done printing. And as you can see, Right there is the handle, and it's started to make the trigger assembly and the barrel. So here we are, around 78% done. As you can see, it's done the handle assembly, the trigger, and most of the barrel. So next time I show you, it will be completely done. All right, so here we have it. The body of the gun was 100% done printing now. Only took about four hours or so, which is better than I thought. But anyway, as you can see, it looks quite a bit like the design I made on the computer. 
And this piece at the back is the bed that it usually makes for it to print on. So they usually design it so it's pretty easy to break off. So I'm going to go ahead and break that off along with some of the other unnecessary support material and go ahead and print the trigger as well. Alright, so here we have printed the 3D printed trigger. There it is, very similar to the AutoCAD drawing you guys saw of it earlier. Basically just got a spot for your finger, a pivot point, a bit of cutouts for clearance, and then the little nubbin, which is used to hold the BB in place. So now the very last, last step is to do assembly, and the only non-3D printed parts are two springs from a pencil, a little bolt that I found laying around, and a Airsoft BB 6mm diameter. Just a quick sh thing to show you guys, the BB fits perfectly inside the barrel, rolls in and out just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick assembly right now. So first we're going to go ahead and take the spring that holds the trigger in place. And it's kind of hard for you guys to see, but there's a little hole I designed in right there. So we're going to go ahead and put the spring in that hole. Might not have designed the depth deep enough, so let's go ahead and cut that down. So there's the shorter spring inserted into the hole. And now the longer spring we're going to use for the propeller. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop that in the barrel. You may be able to see it in the background there a little bit. Not much though. And then the last step is the trigger. Which we're going to insert into this little chamber I made. Push down the retaining spring we'll call it. And then basically line up all three holes. I can feel the tension on that already which is as I designed. Then this pin, if I measured correctly, should just slip right in. There it is everyone, my very first 3D printed invention. It functions very well. As you can see, I pull the trigger and it has a nice bounce back action. Just like that. So before anything breaks, because it does look pretty fragile to be fair, I might go ahead and load in the BB and do some shooting tests. So here we go with the shooting test. Uh, for this testing, we will be using these springs from a ballpoint pen as the power source. Basically, all you do, grab one of them, we'll try two next possibly, put her in the barrel, and then follow that down with a 6mm airsoft BB. And then we're going to use a shish kebab stick to compress those down past the trigger. Probably best to do this while pulling the trigger so that they fit past. Then release the trigger. I'll admit that my trigger design isn't optimal because sometimes it has a hard time holding on but I think it's just done it there. Then to fire all you gotta do is just literally just touch the trigger. Let me set up a little target nice and close. There it is. One downside is that I haven't glued the spring in so as you can see there's nothing left in the barrel. The spring actually went with the BB over here. The BB is just a little on the yonder that way. Anyway, so that was that test. We'll, let's do one more test with two springs, so the same length, so that it still fits behind the trigger. I'm just gonna go ahead and literally just stack these springs on top of each other, which in theory should provide twice as much potential energy. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab another BB once I find one. All right, I found a BB and put it in the barrel. Let's go ahead and push those strong springs past the trigger there. Should lock up on the trigger. It's not perfect because of the tolerances that I used. But it should still work. There we go. And here we go, shooting at the little spark plug box. In three, two, one. You know what? Obviously it didn't go through the box or anything, but that was still a respectable shot. If I looked closer, I could probably find a dent, but we don't have to do that. Anyway, so there it is everyone, the inexpensive 3D printed airsoft gun. I think this used around 200 inches of 1.75 millimeter PLA material, which probably equates to around a dollar or two, since my 500 foot roll is $50. Uh, anyway. There it is. Please, like I said, like this video and subscribe if you want to see more 3D printed items like this. And as always, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.